There are several nootropics that when combined together can give you that limitless-like feeling for you to have enhanced energy, better cognition, and be able to have your most productive day yet. And this is a nootropic stack that will help you with the execution of tasks. It is not a nootropic stack that you would take necessarily for studying, or let's say you have to cram in a lot of information. And the stack consists of modafinil, phenylparacetam, alpha-GPC, rhodiola rosea, and bacopa mineri. The two most important nootropics in this stack would be modafinil and phenylparacetam. And what makes these two nootropics so unique is they really improve your energy levels. Don't be surprised if they keep you up a little bit later than you'd like to be kept up. And they feel like taking caffeine throughout the whole day. Phenylparacetam, you definitely feel it more physically. With modafinil, you feel the alertness. And one of the reasons why I like combining them together is because with modafinil, unfortunately, you experience some sort of crash towards the end of the day. But the first eight hours following ingestion of modafinil, you definitely feel very focused. You're definitely motivated. You feel a little bit of anxiety, but you're able to reduce that anxiety thanks to some of the other nootropics. And when combining it with phenylparacetam, you have enhanced productivity because with phenylparacetam, it does take a little bit of time to kick in. So what happens is modafinil, you feel the crash, but by the time you have the crash, uh, phenylparacetam is working on all cylinders. You're energized, you're stimulated. And don't be surprised if you get more work done in the second half of the day than the first half of the day. The actual dosages that I personally prefer would be modafinil at 100 milligrams. And I like taking phenylparacetam just around 100 milligrams. I'll even take 70 milligrams some days and I ingest phenylparacetam right under the tongue. And then you let it just sit there for about 30 seconds before swallowing it and surely you will see the benefit after some time. Some people actually ingest modafinil and phenylparacetam a couple times during the day. I personally don't. I'm very sensitive to nootropics. So a small dose like this and under 100 milligrams of phenylparacetam is considered a smaller dose. Definitely works for me and I feel the physical energy and the mental energy throughout the whole day. But this is the reason why you wouldn't use this nootropic stack every single day. It's specifically because of these two parts of the nootropic stack. You may not feel a withdrawal the following day, but I'm not a believer that you should take this more than twice a week, if that. And the way that we're going to take these nootropics is one hour after waking up. I never advise anybody takes a stimulating nootropic within the first 30 minutes of waking up. And the reason for that is because when we wake up, we have a natural cortisol spike that's responsible for boosting our energy levels, but that's shut down if we are to use stimulants. And then we need more stimulants throughout the whole day just to compromise. And trust me, if you were to take modafinil or phenylparacetam in the afternoon or the later portion of the day, it will keep you up. So the earlier, the better. If you don't want to take phenylparacetam or modafinil because of their many side effects, what you can consider doing is taking caffeine and L-tyrosine and you would take that twice a day and you would take them at a dosage of 100 milligrams of caffeine and 750 milligrams of L-tyrosine. And it really doesn't matter too much during the day when you take them, but you do want to split them up three hours apart and ideally take them in a fasted state or not along with the meal because the amino acids from the meal are going to compete with L-tyrosine, which is not going to make L-tyrosine conveniently get into the bloodstream and allow you to actually feel it. Moving on to the next nootropic, we have alpha-GPC. The way that we're going to take that is by taking 150 milligrams three times a day. We're going to take it once with the modafinil and phenylparacetam serving, and then we're going to take it once in the early afternoon, like around 2 o'clock p.m. should be good, and then we're going to take it again at 6 o'clock p.m. Alpha-GPC is a form of choline, choline being a nutrient that's basically found in egg yolks, but that's raw egg yolks, and you likely won't get enough from just eating egg yolks, so we have it in supplement form, and it really does make all nootropics work better, but even independently, if you aren't taking other nootropics, what happens is you use alpha GPC, you will feel mentally refueled. You're going to feel replenished throughout the whole day. You're going to notice that you're a little bit sharper than typically. There's a lot of studies backing the benefits of alpha GPC. One neat one was found in this study here where they actually found that it boosted motivation levels in the evening, not just the daytime. And I like to consider taking alpha GPC like refueling my batteries. As we go about the day, what happens? We get fatigued, we get a little bit stressed, and you can consume more alpha GPC and you won't feel as tired or cognitively taxed as typically. Watch out for some of the side effects with it though. Some people do report headaches also being in a worse mood. I have found with Alpha GPC that people have different dosage needs. There is a sweet spot that you'll find with some experience. For me, when I use too little Alpha GPC, I didn't feel right. When I use too much Alpha GPC, I also didn't feel right. The next nootropic we have is Rhodiola rosea, which is an adaptogenic herb that allows you to reduce levels of stress. And there's a lot of research showing how powerful it is at fighting fatigue. I look at Rhodiola rosea probably as the best nootropic and safest nootropic at reducing fatigue. So what happens is throughout the day, we feel a little bit tired. We need to take a nap. You don't need to take a nap when you're using Rhodiola rosea. That's right. I call it a nap 
in a pill. That's really how it feels. So the combination of rhodiola rosea along with phenylpyrastam, modafinil, and alpha-GPC helps you to really improve your performance for a longer stretch of time. So for that reason, I like taking rhodiola rosea twice during the day. I take it once at 2 o'clock along with the alpha-GPC and then again at 6 o'clock p.m. And the dosage that works best for me is 500 milligrams, specifically for these days when I'm using modafinil and phenylpyrastam. Because these are longer work days, they're more intense days, but you can also get away with a smaller dose of about 300 milligrams, but rhodiola rosea is typically going to be in capsules of 500 milligrams per serving. And it's very interesting the way rhodiola rosea works. This study actually showed that rhodiola rosea helped with weight training, but what happened was the study subjects, the actual perceived amount of exercise was less. So they would look at a weight or they would look at a particular exercise, and in their mind, the whole task would be a lot easier, and that would actually allow them to perform better during the exercise. Can you imagine looking at something that's very challenging, ingesting rhodiola rosea, and suddenly you see that task is easy? Because that's what this study is saying it does. A lot of people like taking rhodiola rosea first thing in the morning, but I personally don't think there's any point because once you ingest rhodiola rosea, you feel very clear-minded and we wake up, most likely we're going to be clear-minded. So I don't want to take that much rhodiola rosea. I never want to exceed over one gram per day. And the next nootropic supplement is Bacopa mineri, which is a perennial herb. This is also an adaptogen similar to rhodiola rosea, similar to ashwagandha. It's going to reduce stress levels in a different way than rhodiola rosea does. I think that with rhodiola rosea, that's more around fighting fatigue. But with Bacopa mineri, I actually feel a little bit smaller. I feel like my memory is working better. I feel like my processing speed is good. I'm able to learn things in a much faster fashion. And for that reason, I like taking Bacopa Mineri sometime in the middle of the day. So I would typically use it along with the Rhodiola Rosea and the Alpha GPC once at 2 o'clock p.m., once at 6 o'clock p.m. And the dose that I prefer with Bacopa Mineri is 500 milligrams per serving. This one is slightly stimulatory, so I wouldn't take it too close to the evening. But with Rhodiola Rosea, the same thing can be said. One of the things that a lot of people dislike about Bacopa Mineri is the fact that after ingestion, somewhere around 10 days of ingesting Bacopa Mineri, people feel demotivated. But the good thing about this nootropic snack is that you have modafinil, you have phenylpyrastam. These are going to keep you motivated. Not everybody feels Bacopa straight away, but I personally do. When I ingest it, I feel very present. I'm aware of my surroundings. I'm clear-minded and my priorities are top of mind. I don't really find it motivating at all. So I personally don't recommend people take Bacopa by itself. And the type of Bacopa really doesn't matter too much. I've tried it from a number of different sources over the years and they've all been pretty much the same. And I can expect that I ingest it and I feel less fatigued. And what you can consider doing to making this stack even more effective is making sure that you're drinking a lot of water during the day. If you're experiencing any anxiety, you may want to consider consuming some L-theanine and some more alpha-GPC as necessary and consume water-rich foods. As we know that water-rich foods will actually help us stay hydrated. And also you'll find that with modafinil and phenylpyrastam, they do warm you up a little bit. So make sure that your AC is working in full effect and you're mindful of your heart rate. Of course, take breaks. Should you use caffeine with the stack? I would say in most cases, no. The time when I would use caffeine along with this nootropic snack is if I'm working out, then I would still ingest about 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine pre-workout. But just watch out. Don't do any high intensity interval training using this snack because um, modafinil, phenylpyrastam, they will raise your heart rate. And you really wouldn't have to make any adjustments if you were practicing intermittent fasting. These nootropics would actually probably work better if you're intermittent fasting because as you're eating throughout the day, what happens is you have insulin spikes and then it becomes a little bit difficult to uh, determine whether or not a nootropic supplement is working. Don't put too much thought into some nootropics being fat soluble. That's a myth that has been busted. And I want to know what else you would add to this nootropic stack. Consider subscribing. Drop a like if you got value from this video. And if you'd like to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you could do so over on Patreon. And don't forget to visit our Discord server. It has a 24-7 chat room. We're having a lot of fun. I thank you for your interest in nootropics and look forward to seeing you next time.